May you feel the touch of the Holy Spirit in each breeze that caresses your flesh, that day by day you may be quietly reminded that you are loved and treasured by the God who is always with us. As I sat on the rocks at the ocean's edge, the fog wrapped itself around me and taught me one more lesson. This one quite positive, almost tender. It found an echo in Job 33, verse 4. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. This is the word of the Lord. My thoughts begin with the disciples' experience of Pentecost, which began when a mighty wind blew through the room. In the New Testament, pneuma is the word for wind. It's ruach in the old. The same word is used for God's spirit in both. When wind ruffles my hair or my skin is caressed by a breeze, it can be a tangible reminder of the spirit's wind and breath, a brief holy moment as if I'm feeling the Holy Spirit touching me, or perhaps resting on me the way that tongues as of fire rested on the disciples at Pentecost. I never expected that I'd experience a similar sacred sensation on a damp, foggy day. But as my entire body was enveloped by the fog, and it touched every part of me, every inch of my skin, I felt embraced by the Holy Spirit, cocooned in a wrapping of divine grace, swathed in God's holiness, love, and grace. I remembered Bible verses that speak of God as above all and through all and in all, and say that in God we live and move and have our being. And those verses took on new meaning. I was conscious that the fog enfolding me was also touching and enveloping everything around me, the rocks, the water, each blade of grass, every branch and bush. And I was acutely conscious of the Spirit's creative, enlivening presence in everything I could see and touch, in the whole creation, in all that has been or is now or ever will be. It was perhaps the most tangible awareness of God's presence in the world and in me that I have ever experienced. The sensation reflected a reality that is not dependent on wind or fog or tongues of fire. In fact, I found that all I need to do to experience it again is to be still and remember that the Spirit is in me and around me and in you and around you and in the whole of creation. So be it. Today's quote is from the Book of Divine Works by Hildegard of Bingen. Holy Spirit, making me alive, moving in all things, you are the source of all creation and all beings. Holy Spirit, cleaning the world of every impurity, forgiving guilt, anointing wounds, glistening. You are commendable. You are life. You awaken and reawaken everything that is in us. And now I leave you with this blessing. May the God of wind and rain, sun and fog, shelter you from the rain guide you through any fog that dims your way, be the wind at your back, and be your constant light, always there, 
even when hidden behind clouds. God bless you.